So a couple of uh, days ago, last week, sometime, I saw a video by um, Dr. Sunday Adelaja. I don't know if you know him, some of us do. If you don't, you should. Um, I'll link the video here. And there were some things he said that um, got me pretty excited. Uh, I'll, um, I'll just recap them very quickly. But you know, since this Ukraine and Russia thing broke out, affecting everybody in the world, everybody in the world, which will bring me back to another subject, perhaps in this same video, because what I want to say is not very long. <clears throat> since this Ukraine-Russia thing broke out, everybody is feeling it. And um, you can see fuel prices going insane, supply, supply chain is disrupted, disrupted. You know, prices everywhere are crazy. In the US right now, <laughs> don't get me into that one. <laughs> don't get me into that one. You know, the whole Biden, I did that, well, price per gallon, all that thing. Now, just don't get me started. But, you know, Sonia Adela just said something that, honestly speaking, almost brought me to tears. He said, you know, you know the demand has a church. Man, the man started a church, I think, 30 some years ago in Ukraine. And the church is arguably one of the biggest churches in Europe. That's what I've heard. I don't know. Uh, if not the biggest church. Certainly, the, I would argue it's probably the biggest church in Ukraine. And it's a very big movement. Now, there are things the man says that I'm like, well, that's not the way I see it. But for the most part, you see, when somebody is anointed, gifted, and working in the will and purpose of God, you know, sometimes all the edges, all the edges don't have to be smooth. And uh, sometimes you just respect the person because you know the man is genuinely anointed. I don't want to get digressed. I don't want to be. I don't. I don't want to digress. <coughs> so, the man said something that, you know, because he has had to be on the run since the, uh, you know, skirmish since the invasion started and um, he has had to leave the church behind and he said that I mean, he's been trying not to talk about it because he knows that people are going through pain but that I, he felt it was time to, to bring it up this was sometime last week and it was sometime last week which will be maybe about a week after the attack started and he said that he had been concerned about the situation with the church and what was happening but he knew actually what it was he said he understood because when he prayed years before about what was going to happen to his church that god has shown him a vision i'm not going to go into the details because i want you to watch his video all right but god has shown him a vision that basically the church would be okay but that the church was going to need to spread out which was be which is beautiful for honestly speaking like i said it almost brought me to tears because it's reminiscent of what happened in jerusalem back in the book of acts when the persecution started by paul nonetheless you know under herod and uh, you know the romans and no 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 the sanhedrin you know they started persecuting the church the body of christ the children of god the disciples and the disciples ran away from jerusalem and spread out throughout the world which also confirmed what jesus said what the angels said what jesus said to the disciples in acts chapter 1 verse 8 said you shall receive power after the holy spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me in jerusalem in samaria in all judea and all over the world the point is for people who have been ignited who have been empowered who have been taught in the word of god to spread all over the world and you no, know, when there has been the fire of God in a place, the purpose of the fire is to spread. The purpose of the fire is not to be bottled up and covered up. The purpose of, purpose of the fire is to spread. And you know, this skirmish, as much as many people are hurt by it, that's not the way I saw things. <coughs> I'll refer you to the video I made about that. <coughs> know how to pray with respect to this um, Ukraine crisis, Russia and Ukraine crisis. You no, know, the problem is not. I, mean, I know people hurt. But that's not the point. The point is, what is God doing in this season? 
and how should we position ourselves and so i was very happy to know that somebody who is directly affected by the crisis who has had to abandon his family his home his background the work he has been doing for 30 plus years is able to recognize what god is doing that god is deliberately using that skirmish using this this crisis to spread his people out i have shared a vision that i have had also about seven years ago eight years ago now seven eight 2014 2014 yeah going on eight years now uh that you know the lord told me the lord showed me that you know he was preparing his people and that the time was going to come when he will unleash them what he said to me was i have prepared seven thousand that have neither bowed to bow nor kissed him then that was that's um i've said it many times in many of my videos if you've been watching any of them you would have seen it that was in um first kings chapter 19. <coughs> then he now took me to Joel chapter 2 and he said the day of the lord is coming when the armies of god shall be unleashed and they shall spread all over the world and they shall climb these and uh, you know they, they will not break rank and so on and so forth i've said many, i said many times so my point is i am excited because i know this is the move of god also about two years ago 2020 i started feeling that something was about to happen that was before 2019 three years now wow that was before the outbreak of coronavirus i knew that something was happening i could feel it in the spirit so i am excited in this time i'm excited in this time that the move of god has started and this is a call to everybody who calls upon the name of the lord everybody who says jesus is their god everybody who is saved who, who has their view on heaven this is that time so these things i have told you that you might have peace in this world you shall, be, you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer and overcome the world you have already you have already overcome the world jesus has already overcome the world he has given you that victory live in that victory walk in that victory do the things for which god has put you in this world why did god put you in this world you are the salt of the earth salt is what makes food palatable you can't eat food if it is tasteless we are the reason god has not destroyed this world when God removes us from this world, the food is tasteless, he's going to throw it away. So be that salt. Make this earth palatable. Spread. Leaven the whole lump. Impact your society. Start with yourself, your own life. Then move to your family, your wife, your husband, your children. Then move to your society, your church, your neighborhood, your job. Let people know that the presence of God is where you are. That's the first you are the light of the world. The light shows direction. You cannot light a, a, a lamp and put it under a bushel. This is not the time to hide yourself. This is not the time to draw back onto perdition. This is the time to march forward and let the world know who you are. Yes, they will persecute you. Yes, they will bring you before magistrates. magistrates. Yes, you will potentially lose your job. Yes, they will possibly kill you. That's what the Bible promises will happen. It will happen. Nonetheless, Nonetheless, so he also sets his hand upon the plow and look at back, it's not worthy of my kingdom. Nonetheless, we stand. Nonetheless, we march forward. I love that song. The church is marching on. The church is marching. Hallelujah, Baba. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The church is marching on. The gates of hell are not attacking us. The gates of hell are trying to keep us from breaking them down and moving into the kingdom and taking it for our God. So we, the church, we are marching on. We're not sitting down and waiting for things to happen to us. But God has started something. He has ignited a fire. And it's a time to move forward move forward god bless you thank you for watching i don't want this thing to be too long the other things i wanted to discuss maybe i'll talk about it in another video thank you for watching uh click like click subscribe share this video leave a comment ask a question leave an insult leave an abuse offer your own suggestion what you think why you agree or disagree anything have a wonderful day god bless you